Here's what I'm thinking, Steve. We probably want to crush this dynamite. So how about we go ahead and draw a hammer? It's a hammer. Shut up. Do you see how we're hitting it with the top of the hammer? It's like Mjolnir, okay? It's like Thor threw it. Here, I'll even put a, a couple of whoosh lines to indicate the, the velocity downwards. I have no doubt this will end in a climax. Oh, avoid explosions. What's up guys, welcome to Draw a Stickman Epic, a game where you get to create the protagonist and then draw your way through their adventure. And I know from playing games like this in the past that if my imagination is left unchecked, things are gonna get real weird. So for the sake of having a nice, normal, simple baseline to work with, I'm gonna go ahead and draw the stickman that they've asked of me. And no, he's not gonna have a jetpack or rocket skates or a huge dong. I'm sure a lot of that'll come eventually, but for now, he's gonna be a perfectly normal, completely average, run-of-the-mill stickman. Who's alive. I don't know what women have been complaining about this entire time. Creating life was easy! Well, now that I've successfully birthed you from my mind womb, how about I go ahead and continue to be the world's greatest parent by teaching you to walk in a matter of seconds. It's kinda lonely here. Isn't that very 2020 of him? He's 15 seconds old, he's already depressed. <laughs> I have an idea. Touch the Stickman pencil and draw me a friend. Oh dear. Yeah, they weren't specific about what kind of friend. This is where things are gonna get weird. <laughs> Can't believe I'm moving on to a second creation when I haven't even named my first one yet. <gasps> I think I'm gonna call you Steve. How about that? Steve the Stickman. Steve, you want a friend, do you? Well, considering whatever I draw comes to life, I might want to actually take some time to consider what it is I'm creating, as well as focus on the more important parts of it. In this case, the boobs. Well, I guess she's also going to want a head. Just kind of poke it back there. Have her peeking out over these perky pillows. <laughs> Maybe even give her a little eyeliner. That way we know she's a woman. <laughs> You're going to need hair, aren't you? Maybe, uh, yeah, like a bit of a pigtail? That works, okay. And then the rest, I mean, let's be honest, none of this really matters. <laughs> what do you think of your new friend, Steve? <laughs> oh, I think she's perfect. Name your friend, oh sweet Jesus. You know what? I'm, I'm just gonna name her a thought. How about that? You know, why? care about scale when you can accidentally make her eight feet tall. That's my bad. <laughs> hey, come look at this. Should we be leaving the paper? That doesn't seem like a particularly good idea. No, nope. I told you this was a bad idea. Get your big bouncy self back here. I have to find a thought. <laughs> Oh my god. Draw a Stickman epic. The search for a thought. <laughs> you know what, Steve? I am going to help you get a thought. And I can apparently do that with my fire pencil. I can just draw fire and ignite whatever I want. Oh yeah, look at that. Well, isn't that clever? Oh, and it spreads too. It's good to know. You think I can burn one of those poorly drawn rabbits? There's no way this actually works. <laughs> Listen, even gods get it wrong sometimes, okay? Are you really gonna fault me for trying to create a pyrotechnic Easter Bunny? No, I didn't think so. <laughs> All right, Steve, maybe it's time that we actually get you out of here using the most creatively bankrupt thing I can think of, to be perfectly honest. It was only a matter of time until we had a giant flaming Stussy help with our progress, I hope? Yeah, there we go, okay. Sorry about your loved one, there's nothing personal. You're gonna break a few eggs to make an omelet, you gotta burn a few bunnies. Oh, maybe I succeeded in making the pyrotechnic Easter Bunny, he's been here. Here's what I'm thinking, Steve, we probably wanna crush this dynamite. So how about we go ahead and draw a hammer? It's a hammer, shut up. Do you see how we're, hitting it with the 
top of the hammer. It's like Mjolnir, okay? It, it's like Thor threw it. Here, I'll even put a, a couple of whoosh lines to indicate the, the velocity downwards. <laughs> I have no doubt this will end in a climax. Oh, avoid explosions. I, I, I should have taught that to him immediately after walking and talking. Steve, how about we try that again, except for this time, instead of exploding, we're gonna use a defecating safety gnome. <laughs> He's gonna be the one to take the brunt of it, and I have no doubt he is gonna be very professional in his work. There you go. May have burnt down part of the forest. It's like a freaking minefield down here. We only had one defecating safety note, so we're just gonna have to go ahead and summon the ghost of the rabbit that we incinerated. <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Now, don't move. Wait for the fires and the explosions, and then move. Okay, now we're talking. What do we have over here? There's a door here, but we could explore further up. I think all this is safe so long as we don't do anything to it. Might be something up there as well. Hmm. Like 99.9% .9 of people learn how to walk and talk and avoid getting blown up, but Steve is special. I've taught him how to create illusions of himself, which should hopefully trick the dynamite. They really love blowing up on him. <laughs> that will clear our path up to... Ooh. A puzzle piece. Puzzle piece hidden by a little bit more dynamite. I don't know if we can burn or blow up a puzzle piece. We might want to be extra careful with this one, Steve. I think we're going to go with a seductive roll of dynamite. I couldn't give her boobs. I, I couldn't really figure out how to fit them on a bunch of tubes, but hopefully she can still get the job done. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, too hot, too, too, too hot. <laughs> just, just get the puzzle piece. Okay, we found our first puzzle piece. There's one puzzle piece hidden in each level. Find them all to unlock something amazing. I could use a little amazing. I'm sorry to have to be the one to tell this to you, Steve, but by the looks of it, there's only one way to get through this door. I can't think of what. Maybe it's some kind of magic word or an action that people could do right now. Okay, fine. <laughs> Thank you. This was all you're doing. <laughs> Managed to not burn down any rabbits with it. You unlocked the... Armakillo Pass. Okay. Holy crap. So, there's a lot to this game, a lot more than I would have expected, and our thoughts probably in that castle at the end? This might be a multi-episode thing if you guys are interested in that. Here we see a plate of eggs and bacon in its natural habitat, just waiting for some predator to come along and hopefully uh, light a bit of a fire underneath its pot. Yeah, there we go. Is that a good thing? What the hell is that? Do I burn it? Do I do I burn it with fire? I'm gonna burn it with fire. <laughs> Steve, what is it? <laughs> it looks like a weird little tooth creature. Everybody remain calm with a little quick thinking on my part. I've managed to cage the Marshmallow Bigfoot and we will be sure to piss it off slightly. Wasn't really expecting that. Steve, did you just laugh at me? I don't appreciate that. <gasps> what does it want? Oh! Ooh, interesting. We, we walked through the fire and that seems to have got its attention. You found your first color buddy. There's one color buddy hidden in each level. Is there a color buddy in the last one? I don't, I don't think so. <gasps> Go to the redraw stickman screen to use your new color. I am not redrawing Steve, thank you. He's perfect just the way he is. Oh, it was holding a new color. It was holding red. If I wanted to be red, I'd just do this. Is it a safe assumption that we shouldn't burn down the bridge? I'm gonna leave it for now. I don't want to get too fire happy. The last thing I need is it's blowing up in my face. Okay, you know what? Speaking of blowing up in your face, why don't we go ahead and just send Voltorb over here and he can use self-destruct all over this thing. There we go. Flawless. Okay, Smokey the Bear is gonna have your ass if you keep this up. <gasps> Think we're in the clear? Nope, nope, it's still spreading. You got another one, Steve. Think you're clear? Yep. Is that rock on fire? 
I don't know if there's more dynamite hiding in there. We, we should probably just keep on running. Just keep on moving. Oh, here we go. Hmm. That looks awful suspicious. Can you please just go away, whatever you are? No. Hmm, unburnable. Very strange. Just kind of figured we could obliterate everything real easy, but I guess not. Did we burn down the bridge? I think we might have burnt down the bridge. Oh, there's another one. Good, good, great. Oh, no, I needed that. I needed to get over to the puzzle piece, but the, the dynamite screwed me. What if I light you? How does that help at all? It, it doesn't. It just gives me little sparkly stars. Can't draw my own bridge, can I? There we go. It's like nothing ever happened. Just go ahead and, and, and burn yourself to death. Not flame retardant. Retardant. Very important distinction. Maybe we have to try to outrun the fire? It, it takes a little while to spread. I don't think I could do a control burn and just take down a couple of trees. I get the feeling Steve should have been drawn with longer legs. Go, go, no, no, you were, you were so close. You were right there. God, I want that puzzle piece so badly. We're gonna light this again anyway, and then just keep going. Maybe there's another way over there. Maybe we'll get another pencil. We have a fire pencil, but there's gotta be more than just fire. Oh, we found a thought, a thought! <laughs> what is that? You're not the only one with a magic pencil. Whoa! <laughs> Your pencil's all short and stubby. No wonder she doesn't want you. Oh, no, wait! Okay, d j just you wait right here. No, 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 no. Doesn't seem to really care about fire. That's not good. Maybe it would care more about a giant poorly drawn bum? How about that? You fell into my bum trap, you giant stupid whatever you are. Armadillo, ar armadillo, I don't remember what this place was called, but either way, it does not care about fire. Please get out of my way. We got an achievement. There's got to be something that I'm missing. Like, there must be another pencil somewhere for us to use. Oh, that's not good. Please tell me we weren't supposed to get another pencil from a rabbit, and now they're holding out because I incinerated one of them alive. <laughs> Hello, little friend. Can we be friends? You found a page. After you finish this level and go back to the book screen, you can press the pages button to read your pages. Okay, so it's just a collectible. Well, then you can just eat it. <laughs> yeah, I may have started a war. This forest is clearly still holding out on us. Like, I'm gonna burn down every tree and blow up every rock until I find what I'm looking for. You know what? What if I just scribble all over you? How about something like that? Maybe I can boil you out of your shell? No, nothing. Less than nothing. I mean, technically, it breathes fire as well. Oh. Maybe if we wait for it to breathe fire and then... Oh, 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 I see. Yes! <laughs> oh, man. That is really satisfying. I actually figured something out. <laughs> and now my prize should be... a uh, thought. Stickenstein's monster? What? How do I unlock a monster? Oh, it wasn't a cave, it was a tunnel. They made a run for it, of course. I'm gonna find her in the castle in the end. Oh, that's Stickenstein. Well, I seem to have lost my fire pencil, but I've gained a rain pencil, a cloud pencil. I'm not entirely sure. What if we go ahead and draw ourselves a happy little cloud? Oh yeah. Okay, we can make it rain. What if I draw an even bigger cloud? I do do a little something like this. Yeah, there we go. A little bit more rain for you. I, I swear the rabbits are gonna get their revenge at one point or another. Okay, so we have rain and we have lightning. Uh, bees aren't a big fan of rain, right? What if we do a little something like that? Oh, 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 okay. I swear I didn't try to do lightning. How do I control the two? I just wanted 
a happy little cloud. A little something like that, a little rain. There we go. That, they're not good? Maybe you're a friendly bee? Hmm, strange. I figured I would need this flower, considering it's one of the few things that has color, but the bee doesn't seem to want to shove off. What if I bury you in a cloud? <laughs> no, I missed my fire pencil. Sweet Jesus, that's a lot of bees. <gasps> what are the odds they're nice bees? They're not, they're not, they're not nice bees. Okay then. <gasps> well, you know what? Rather than raining on them, how about we go ahead and bomb them with a fighter jet? It's not going to be a particularly well-drawn fighter jet, but it should hopefully get the job done. Oh. Okay, so I should be able to just make massive clouds rain down on all the flowers and then lure the bees over. All right. Well, that's pretty clever. <laughs> not quite as clever as a defecating gnome, but I'll take it either way. So now they're... they're Preoccupied. Do we want to go up there yet, though? I don't think I do. I, I still want to find, like, pages and, and, uh, what else was there? Pages and puzzle pieces and, uh, color buddies. Do I want Frankenstein as a color buddy? Oh, we're gonna need a little lightning. One of the privileges of being a god is knowing people. If we need a little lightning, then I've got the perfect guy. I have no doubt that Zeus should be able to get the job done, I think. I kind of hope to hear like a, a scream. <laughs> it's alive or no, whatever works for me. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> Color buddy, how are you? Oh, made it down just in time. How did I race the electricity? Please don't rip my face off. I don't have a whole lot going for me. Oh, you got cute little rain booties. <laughs> What you doing? Oh, oh, okay. That 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 was nice of you. Did you just try to eat my brain? I think he's cool. He may also be following me around. Uh, Frank, you got any ideas what this is? Can I can I maybe get you to to go down there? Oh oh oh, how about this? Yeah, you you stand right there, and then. I'll go ahead and get you some rain, and then you can play in your puddle. Or not? Was that important? We could always go down and find out. Come along, Frank! I seem to have smushed it. I don't suppose I could have risen the water level here, could I? Make a real big cloud? Would the rain have raised the river? No. Okay, so I don't know how I was supposed to avoid smushing that. Weird. Where did Frank go? Afraid of leaving the castle? He's probably afraid of bees. <laughs> Can only imagine how much he would swell up. Well, I am largely confused, but uh, I, I guess we'll just carry on. Oh no, that's the end. But I didn't figure out the puzzles. Oh, it's gonna drive me crazy. This game is gonna have so much replayability. I'm gonna wanna come back and get every single secret. <laughs> We've now unlocked the Cavern of Robotic Mystery. I think we might have lost Frank which is disappointing, because I really could have used his help against robots or tentacles, extra long toes, whatever it is we're dealing with down here. And I've got a new pencil. I've got a key pencil, which is especially useful considering we've got a lock. Draw a key. Okay, well, uh, let's see here. My key is going to look very much like the hammer I drew earlier. <laughs> a little something like that. Uh, do we then pop it in here? Perfect fit. As nature intended. <laughs> you really gonna walk around with that? Oh crap, it's back again. Oh, found a page though. That's pretty sweet. Um, I don't suppose you would like this key. Should, should we? Probably don't want to be anywhere near this thing, do we? Is it, is it, is it mean? Oh, it looks kind of mean. Just, just duck and duck and weave, duck, duck and weave. Nope, no, nope, okay. Yeah, he's not exactly one for mobility. Could really use the old fire pencil right about now. Why can't I have multiple pencils? I probably can at some point, can't I? It looks like you can have an entire side of them. Uh, what is this? It looks like a cannonball. 
I need to lure this idiot away somehow. He's got his red underbelly. Can I switch pencils? Draw a key. Yeah, I, I, no, here, take, 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 take the key, take the key. It doesn't do anything. I managed to find a different key this time. I believe it's the Gnome of Passage. Maybe he'll be a little bit faster in opening this up. I guess we could always just lure you over here. You're, you're kind of slow and stupid, right? Maybe I could get you to torch this? You you get up and I get out of the way and, and you burn down something for me? Okay, interesting. Okay. Now we're getting places I can use his own abilities against him. Way to go, Passage Gnome! I'll leave you in there for the next treasure hunter and uh can't oh 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 we need a we need a key okay um key for a robot would probably be uh what like a keyboard maybe a little something like this it's RGB it's super fancy we grab it and then just shove it in his hole really don't want that thing to wake up and it jumped off a cliff not what I was really looking for from the robot. Go to sleep and frigga. I think we're good. I think it's probably gonna stay. Okay, there's the robot. Hey, 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 what do you think you're doing? Here, take your keyboard. It's getting more and more deteriorated every time I use it. Okay, it's only a three time use key, I suppose. Are you gonna go make friends? Okay, I guess he was the passage gnome. Oh, hi. We got green! Thank you, little marshmallow man. Is there anything else around? I regret not going in that cave now. It's waiting for me down here. Another chest. Chests. Weird. Fire, dynamite. I'm super confused. Who is down here eating eggs and bacon? It just doesn't make any sense! This is not exactly a hospitable environment. There's a bunch of decapitated robots. Oh my god, stop. Stop with that. Stop with that. that that's enough. You gotta be kidding me. At least they're little. Can you guys come over here and torch this, please? There we, there we go. No, no, not quite. A little, little closer. Little closer. You're not even hitting me. What are you doing with your life? Come on, there we go. Per perfect, perfect, perfect. Good, good. Thank you. Appreciate it. Gonna check over here to see if I'm missing anything. What are you guys hiding? Barrels? I don't think any of these have locks. Oh, crap. Okay. <laughs> Steve, it's a good thing I taught you how to walk. Oh, no, no, no! That hurts. Yes, I'm trying, game. Can you please stop patronizing me? You know what? I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Draw a Stick Man, guys. And it's like I said during the video, if you wanna see more, be sure to leave a like, leave a comment. I would love to make this a series. I would love to get Steve a thought. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.